badly. You're going to be surprised what I think the catalyst is. Even after all the incidents that occurred, even though Alyssa lived with Jody, we all kept in touch with Alyssa. I was very close to Alyssa. We were the two youngest of the kids. Blake invited both Jody and Alyssa at his wedding. He wanted his family there. I talked to Alyssa several times, and she gave me every excuse in the book. I explained to her my ultimatum, if you don't go to your brother's wedding, as much as it hurt me to say, I won't speak to you after this. I just can't comprehend how you can go to your own brother's wedding. Alyssa feels she's an only child because her brothers and sisters are trash. That hurt even more, that just cemented everything. For her to disown the rest of us, it's a slap in the face. I never thought they were trash, I never said that. I don't, I don't believe that. Yeah, so what, that's what he thinks. That's and a shame, sad. that's a shame. They've yeah. seen posts on Facebook, that's why. There's a, they that's why we believe that. We don't believe it for no reason. How's this going for you so far? Interesting. You know what's going to happen? Y'all are going to leave here in a few minutes, and you're, you're going to all go backstage, and you may actually bond in, in, in standing against me, which would be okay. Because uh, you can go backstage and say, well, I, that didn't go like I thought it was. I thought he was going to help us, and all he did was pick on us. Um, yeah, I'm trying to shake this up because you're on self-destruct here. Absolutely. You're absolutely on self-destruct. Do you all believe in the power of language? You know what I mean when I say the power of language? Words are powerful, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And I, I, I listen to everything you all say in your interviews. I read everything you say in your interviews. Everything. Every word. And a patter jumped out at me. You guys have a way of using catastrophic language to describe non-catastrophic events. You, you're talking about it. You say, the straw that broke the camel's back. They went behind my back to steal me blind. I was devastated. You were devastated? I was devastated. You were just devastated. What is devastated? Is that where, like, your body parts fall off of you <laughs> and you're laying it? Oh, come on. I, I'm yeah. serious. Devastated? They dropped off the face of the earth. My children dropped off the face of the earth. I hate it when that happens. The words just turning around and people are just falling off of the earth. They're not my daughters anymore. Whose daughters are they? I didn't know there was a window to go to where you could say, I'm turning these in. I want to reissue here. I probably would have done it a few times if I thought you could. And you call myself an only child, turned her back on us. It's like putting your head in a piranha tank. Seriously? It's, Have you ever seen piranhas attack a bleeding animal? They go after you. It's like putting your head in a piranha tank. You mess with her, you're going to feel her wrath. You're going to get an earful. It's torn all apart. They have just ripped our family to pieces. Just ripped it to pieces. I mean, you just pull around. There's hair, teeth, and eyes everywhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> They've ripped our family to pieces. They've turned on her. You are the ringleader. I guess. You I are the ringleader. And your better, mom is dead to me. Turned our world upside down, threw my things out of the house. I saw them stacked in the driveway. They looked like they had been neatly stacked in the driveway. It didn't look like they had been thrown out of there in a frenzy. They threw my brothers out. You can throw him out? I, I... Didn't throw anybody out. Blake says, kicked us out. She is an evil person. No longer knows who she is, like they couldn't pick you out of a lineup. <laughs> brothers and sisters are trash, she says. Jordan says it's like a slap in the face. Just a slap in the face. Come on, guys, do you wonder why you're, you're all so upset? This is melodramatic, catastrophic language. Calm down. Yeah. Calm down. You're not devastated. I was when it first happened. No, you weren't. <laughs> no, you weren't. You remained vertical. Oh. You remained coherent. You can talk. You are now. I cried in bed for a couple days. But you were sad. I was sad. That's enough. Well, a lot of this is going to come back to be laid at your feet. The last conversation I had with Carlin, she had phoned me and wanted to know if she could get photos I'd had of all the children as they were growing up. That was really all I had to hang on to, and I was not willing to give them up. They were the only happy memories I had left. They'd taken everything.